Hi guys and welcome to Biscuits Total War and today we are bringing you a 3 vs 3 31k rules. Uh, this time I'm playing as the Skippy Eye Forces and I'm going to be playing alongside uh, on the Iberos clan uh, Albala, I believe that's how his name is pronounced and also Gimli. Um, these guys brought the Brutii Eye Forces as you can see and I brought the Skippy Eye. We're going to be facing against the Julii, the Senate, and in this corner here we have got the Macedonian forces. So um, I'll just quickly introduce the armies that we've got. I've got my standard 14 Urbans, 1 Legendary First Cohort, followed by 5 Praetorian Cav. If we check out Ibros in the centre, he has got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 Praetorian Cav and 15 Urbans. So fairly rounded force there. And then Gimli, he has got five Praetorian Cav, one Archer and 14 Urbans. And we will be facing, as you can see, I uh, believe it's uh, Cleo is going to be bringing the, the Macedonians. We have got Titan Beast, uh, Beast of the Titan Clan, and he is going to be bringing the Senate. And then we've got Hades of Titans, who's going to bring the Julii faction. Now, this game is actually going to start off pretty quickly, pretty aggressively. Um, it's the way I like to try and play. I don't like to play too conservatively. I want to try and rush my opponent whenever I can. And see if we can try and get the, the upper ground. If we check out um, Ibros. Uh, Ibros, he's a really good player, this guy. He's always good at supporting... Uh, he's always fast to adapt to uh, new positions and what the enemy are doing. And Gimli, even though he's not in a clan, yeah, still a great 31k player. Uh, still makes the odd mistake, as we all do. But uh, we'll see how he does in this game. He should hopefully do quite well. And then we've got uh, Titans uh, playing as the two Rome factions here. Uh, Titans don't really need any introduction. Uh, the great 31k players have been playing for some time. It's always a bit of a tricky task when you're playing against them. And lastly, our friends here, Cleo of the Greeks, bringing the Macedonians. And as you can see from the previous videos, the Greeks, they're always great when it comes to using the pikes. Uh, it's always interesting to see what they do. If there's any little tactics or any tips that you can always pick up whilst playing against them. So I'll quickly uh, pause the game for two seconds, just while I go through their armies. Um, let's have a look here at Cleo. He has got uh, 16 uh, Royal Pikemen, it looks like, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 Cretan Archers. <laughs> uh, if we look at Titan's Beast, uh, he's got his own little special formation here. I think he calls this the... The Phallus Formation, if you've got a nervous dips disposition, please look away. Uh, inspired by the Prince of Macedong. Um, he's a guy who's basically done a little spoof of the pre Prince of Macedon. Uh, Macedon, even. Uh, some funny videos there, if you want to check out. Um, all in uh, good humour. And then we've got Titans Hades. I believe Titans Hades, he's brought uh, 6 Praetorian Cav, 14 Urbans, and as same has Beast of Titans, he's brought 16 Urbans, and uh, sorry, 14 Urbans and 6 Praetorian Cav. So, as you can see here, uh, get my, lose control of my mouse. Um, Hades, his guys are isolated, so both myself and Ibros have decided to try and rush him. Now it's a bit of a, an error on my side because my guys are all the way down here. By the time I manage to catch up with Hades, my guys are going to be pretty tired. If they're not tired, they're going to be pretty um, <laughs> exhausted. So by the time they engage in their melee fight one to one of these urbans, um, Titans, uh, Hades and Titans Beast will probably have the upper hands. So I'm charging my guys in, uh, Beast is going to try and counter that, he's charging his guys in to meet Ibros. My guys are still on the way. 
Uh, Titans Hades can see what's going on here. So he's going to meet up with a beast and try and catch Ibros out of formation. And as they're doing that, they're going to charge in with a calf strike. But it's just a tiny bit too late. Um, as you can see, Ibros has managed to throw in a few volleys of Peeler. I've peeled out a couple of my urbans just to try and help defend against this onslaught. In comes Titans Hades here. He's probably going to try and flank uh, Ibros. I'm going to counter this by sending in my urbans. And as you can see, I'm wrapping my Praetorian around the side. Uh, now it's a good little move here. I'm going to go in for a cab charge. Uh, Ibros has read my mind. And I think between the two of us, we're going to go in for a cav charge here and hopefully isolate these uh, urbans here. Now, one problem about doing that, I'm going to be vulnerable against any f charges. In comes Hades with a counter charge. I've peeled off a couple of my urbans to try and help my Praetorian cav here. I need to try and get my Praetorian cav out as soon as possible. I don't want my guys instantaneously routing. So I think my guys, they're coming out slowly. There's a few of the cav units coming out. In comes uh, Hades with another little cav charge. He's going to try and get these isolated urbans. I have pulled them out trying to counter this cav charge. Um, so both myself and Hades, we've had a lot of casualties in that initial engagement. Uh, Titans is peeling off his units here to support uh, Hades. Again, I'm going to try and pull my infantry back into a decent formation. Uh, my cav have been dwindled down to a few unit units. In comes uh, Beast of a cav charge. They've routed one, two of my units. Ibros is now going to counter that by sending another little cav charge to try and prevent this uh, crumbling of this wing. So three of my units are routed. If I just hover my curse through of my units, my guys are all winded, opposed to uh, the opposition who are now warmed up. So they're gonna have the, uh, the advantage. It's just a case of Ibros trying to now support my units here. So it looks like Hades units it pretty much has depleted this mine. I'm sending in my calf here for another little calf charge. Uh, it's not really going to do too much damage. In comes uh, Hades, another little calf charge. But his guys are going to get snagged up on my Urbans and Ibros. So hopefully they should rout. In comes um, Ibros again with another little calf charge try and uh, hold this wing here, prevent it from crumbling. My guys are still in the thick of it at the moment. Now in comes Gimli. Now Gimli hasn't got his guys into wedge formation, it's a bit of a, an error there. Ideally if he had his guys in wedge formation and potentially charged them over here, he might be able to get a few units to rout. So he's charged in. He hasn't routed too many of our units here, or their units even. Really needs to pull them back out. In comes Ibros again with another little cav charge. Probably going to try and uh, snipe or aim for the Julii General here. I've now, yep, I've lost all of my cav now. That's my last little horse there. He's just chilling out on his own and he's just been uh, taken out. Again, my guys are starting to rout a bit. Um, they're still hanging in there. It's a close one between myself and Hades. Um, looks like Hades is about to lose his last cav unit. He's got a few urbans left that he's pulled back. Uh, but a few of them are just routed with another well aimed charge by uh, Ibros. In comes uh, Beast again, another little charge of his cav. 
uh, with his airbins. Trying to wrap around these units here. In comes Gimli with another cav charge to free up um, Ibros's airbins. So now Ibros can now use some of his guys to try and help out of my army here. Gimli has used, he's got one, two, three, four, five, six of his airbins now to try and support this flank. It's going to be really tight here. Another one of my airbins, as you can see, they've started to rout. And again, wherever you look, Ibros is sending in his uh, cav charges whenever he can. My journal is just hanging in there. And Hades is now down to, it looks like, one, two, three, four units. I'm just down to uh, three units. So it's still pretty close between our armies here. Um, Cleo is sending in a few of his uh, his Mastonian pikes now as support. One of Hades' units is now routed, so he's now down to three. My general is still hanging in there, but he might buckle underneath this little cav charge that Titan's beast has just done. Uh, so it's still pretty even on all sides here at the moment. Effectively, it is going to be a uh, there's a two versus two, and then myself and Hades on opposite sides. We're pretty depleted. We're pretty much down to our last few men. Again, my general is just hanging in there at the moment. He's very tired. Uh, Hades is now very tired, very tired and winded. In comes Titan's beast of another cav charge. And that has caused my general to rout, which is now going to lower the morale for my other units. Uh, so I've still got two units hanging in there. Hades' units now routed. What well, looks like one of his units have come back. So he's down to three men. If we check out what Cleo is doing here at the back, you can see he's getting a defensive line here of his pikes to try and trap all of these urbans. Uh, Titans has now lost all of their cav. They've got a few urbans left. In comes uh, Gimli with a nice little cav charge. He's going to slice into the side of these um, Julii urbans. That's caused one, two, three of them to rout and four of them to rout. So it looks like uh, Hades is now bit in the dust. If we check out Titan's um, beast, he's just got the one uh, Senate unit left. I've managed just to hang in there the skin of my teeth. I've got two urbans left. So now it is going to be a, a two versus one. Well, it's a, still three versus two, but myself and Titans are really down to hardly any units. So it's going to be up to my allies, uh, Gimli and Ibros, to try and finish off um, uh, Kilo's forces of Macedonia. So if you look over here, uh, Cleo is winning on this side here. He's got one, two, three uh, units. He's throwing in his general unit here to support the rest of his units. One of them's already started to rout, which is actually his general unit. I've just noticed that. And the second one's routed, so that's going to lower the morale of these Royal Pikemen. The Royal Pikemen, their morale isn't amazing. If they're all tightly clustered together in a good defensive formation, they should do pretty well. But just if they're isolated and broken up, they should rout underneath the numbers of all of these urbans. So what uh, Cleo is going to do now is going to run his pikes back. He knows if he keeps them here with all of these urbans, it's only a matter of time before they rout. So he's running them back to these guys over here. We can see exactly what's going on. We're going to try and chase after these pikes, but it's going to be inevitable that we won't be able to catch up because a small little fun fact that these uh, royal pikes can actually run faster than these urbans so we shouldn't be able to catch them up. Over here Gimli's lost his forces 
on this side. It's just a case of now us guys uh, forming up, trying to freshen up our troops. In the meantime, uh, Gimli's got a f two cav units left, it looks like. He basically needs to use those just to chase down these uh, last few units of these uh, Cretan archers. Because these Cretan archers um, should be to do quite a lot of damage on our urban, especially if our urbans are all tired. I think we've got a couple of archers left. Yeah, Gimli's got one unit of archers left. There's only a few of them left. Um, these Cretans are just down to one unit of archers. These other ones are now depleted. So it just needs to cav chav. Uh, chav charge, cav charge these uh, Cretans if you can. They go in for a little cav charge here. These guys should rout. These archers aren't really going to do much damage. They're winded. Uh, these guys are still firing arrows and they're firing arrows into the back of these pikes, which is good. Our guys are just basically resting up here. Looks like Titans is trying to chase down these last few units, these routed units of uh, Gimli's. And Gimli's units, the men have now come back. There's 40 in there. So uh, Titans is now going to run his guys back. As you can see here, Cleo is just basically getting his guys into a nice defensive formation. What I'm going to do now here, I'm just going to triple it for a bit. So you can see as Beast runs his guys, um, I want to try and get my Urbans to try and take out his guys before they get into the mix of all these pikes. Once they're in the pikes, we won't be able to, to chase them down. There we go. They've now routed. Uh, if we check out the back here, uh, Gimli's just using his cav to chase down these last few units. We're going to get our guys into a nice... Um, box around these Macedonians. Now these Macedonian guys if they're in a tighter uh, box formation uh, they might be able to be a bit more defensive. As you can see uh, Cleo is basically now tightening up his box formation. I'm just moving my guys here just to try and aim for the gap. As you can see the best place to attack is going to be on near the corner in between these pikes. Um, just check out what's going on here down at the bottom we've got one urban coming back one cav unit over there coming back in the meantime we've now engaged it's just a case of trying to hack our way through these dense formation of pikes and every time uh, Cleo um, gets his guys into better formation. We're going to try and take advantage of that and charge forward. My guys are probably going to route any second now as they're now pretty depleted down to 16 units. Yep, my guys now routed. Now, this is the uh, the breaking point now. One of the Mastodonian forces pikes are now routed, which caused the second one to route, which in turn caused the third, fourth, and fifth. So they've all now totally routed. Uh, that was a really good game then. Uh, really close at the end there. Uh, really well played with Titans and uh, the Greek clans there. Uh, if we look at the other kills, I've managed to scrape in a thousand kills there. I think basically my guys are absolutely exhausted by the time I engaged into Hades. I still managed to hold my own, getting a few decent kills there. But I came in at the bottom there at only 1050 kills. If we look then at uh, Greek uh, Cleo, he's got 1,241 kills. Titans Hades, 1,400 practically, as well as Titans Beast, practically 1,400 kills there. But a star of the show was actually Gimli. He's got over 2,000 kills, and uh, Ibras got in 1,751 kills. So Ibras played absolutely fanatical there. If you check out all of those cav charges going backwards and forwards, everywhere you seem to look, he was there with his cav. And Gimli uh, played excellently there. 
nearly two, well, just over 2,000 kills. Really worked, played well, great support role. Managed to send in his urbans just at the right time to try and swing the battle in our favour to knock out both Titans and Hades. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed that game. It was really aggressive on all sides there. Uh, hope you guys learned something, hopefully. Uh, if you do like the video, please do leave a little comment. Please subscribe. It's always great to see who watches these videos. Uh, thanks so much for all the support. Hope you guys enjoy the channel. I uh, hope you guys watch my further videos to come in the near future. This is Biscuit signing out. Wishing you all the best and thanks again for your time. Okay, cheers. Bye now.